So today we've got two guns here, almost the same thing, but a little different. You may or may not know what these are. Oh, let's check this out. See, the, see those yellow things? Those are chamber flags. Unloaded. We're safe. Yeah, I popped the magazine in this one, but it's unloaded. Okay, we're safe. Ruger Mini, Mini 14 and Mini 30. Um, why I wanted to do a video on these um, is because they're really cool guns. Um, they're really great um, kind of do-all rifles in two very common calibers. Um, so these are the sport, basically the sporter models with the black polymer stocks. This one has the stainless metal. This one's blued steel um, on the the uh, Mini 14 here. The Mini 14 is 556, or that 223 Remington uh, caliber. More commonly, you know, we usually see that as the AR-15 round is what people usually think of it as. Um, but so this is a 556. 7.62 or 308. So we Sorry, not 308. While going through editing, I made realized my error. 7.62 by 39, which is the uh, basically the AK-47 round. So both the Mini 14 and Mini 30 are chambered in what are considered intermediate rounds, where it's uh, that not quite pistol, not quite full power battle rifle of uh, like a 308 or 30-06 or something like that. So again, the Mini um, Mini 14 is 556 slash 223 Remington, and the Mini 30 is 7.62 by 39, okay? There's no or for that one. It's just the, the AK round, basically. All right, sorry about that mix-up. Uh, back to the original uh, scheduled program. We've got two different calibers in pretty much dimensionally the same size. Um, so they're pretty cool in that way. Um, I'm going to set one of them down. I'm going to set down the Mini 30 over here in its box. So I have a little more hands free here. Um, so the main reason I wanted to talk about these today is because they are a fantastic option for an individual who lives in a currently restricted state on what type of firearms they can own. Um, so with this specific, these both these specific models are bare bone stripped down. There's no muzzle device, um, there's no pistol grip, there's no telescoping stock, there's no dangerous evil features that are only aesthetic that all of a sudden make this gun illegal in uh, about seven states currently. Um, that being said, I'm not here to get into the politics of it, but just looking at trying to keep uh, options open for people who are living in currently restricted states. Um, so they take the same sort of ammo that that AR-15 and AR-10 take, um, very reliable, relatively inexpensive. Both of these you're gonna find the various models for somewhere around a thousand bucks, plus or minus a few hundred dollars depending on the model. These both models do come in variations that would be considered restricted, be it because of muzzle devices or the stocks that they're set into. Um, so I'm just gonna open this one up real quick, drop out that chamber flag. Um, so you can see the action is very similar. Um, to an M1 Garand, actually, if you're familiar with those at all. They're similar, but not the same. That's kind of where the mini term comes from, that these are carbine versions of a full-size si full battle rifle. Um, World War II and earlier era, three, uh, 30 caliber was the only game in town. Um, anyway, I just want to show the difference or one difference. So we got a little five rounder. These models come with two five round magazines, which is nice. Yes, uh, my cat is rubbing on uh, uh, the tripod. So if you see a little wiggle, I apologize. Hey, come here, come here. Oh, oh, okay, we're good. She's on her way, maybe not. Anyway, two five round magazines um, in each. They're not an AR magazine or AR compatible. So you could not take an AR magazine and put it into this gun, and you couldn't... And we're back. Uh, the cat actually ended up knocking over the tripod, so I'm going to bring it back a little bit, and I'll, it'll come out in editing. 
So we got our two five round magazines that came with these compliant style rifles. Um, they, you can get uh, five, 10, maybe 15, maybe 20, and 30 round magazines for the mini 20 or mini 14 and mini 30. These are not compatible with ARs and ARs are not, AR mags are not compatible with this. To me, that's the biggest downfall or the only real downfall of this rifle um, for basically anybody. Um, they actually even insert a little differently. You may be able to see there's a little indent, not indent, but a little hole in the front that actually indexes in. So you really rock it in, clicks in there. Its magazine release is extremely similar to, if not almost the lever might actually be identical to the Ruger 1022. So that's very familiar. Um, so rocking that five flush fit five round mag, a 10 round mag would come to about here. The 30 rounder is about the same size as a standard AR-15 magazine. So, um, who would want this if you were out, if uh, you lived outside of a restricted state? Um, almost anybody. Um, a lot of times people refer to this specific rifle in either caliber as a ranch rifle. It's relatively lightweight, easy to handle, rugged. Um, so uh, people who live on ranches or farmers or similar people, this is an easy, not, not scary looking rifle to patrol your property for nuisances, be it woodchucks or coyotes or any sort of uh, animal pest that may be on the farm or the property uh, causing property damage. Um, good for hunting, good for target shooting, good for uh, self-defense. Basically every single category that a uh, firearm can fit into, the Mini 14 and the Mini 30 fit into those categories. Um, they, there are a lot of modifications or aftermarket parts available for them from different stocks. Um, as we said, the different magazines. I think there's some aftermarket triggers out there. I didn't really look specifically. Um, and again, depending on the models that you order, it can have a threaded barrel and everything like that. So you really can do a lot with these. Um, so they're very, very versatile rifles. So um, again, this is the Ruger Mini 14 in 5.56 NATO, or that 223 Remington. And then, I'm just going to set this down almost identical to it, the Mini 30 in 7.62 caliber, okay, or 308. Um, this one just happens to be again in stainless. I think it does also come in all black, but this was the model that was available at the time for the customer. So, great options for those who are interested <laughs> in, in, any, in a rifle such as this. So, um, if you got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below or email me directly. Um, hope you learned a little bit. Might see a different option that you might not have known is out there. And uh, that's it. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.